Now hey guys, my name is Bryce and in this tutorial series I will be showing you how to get started on VATSIM. First thing that we're going to need to do is install the required software to connect to the network. Now I presume that you all have a SIM, Xplan 11, P3D, or Microsoft Flight Simulator. First step, we're going to go to my.vatsim.net slash register, enter all your details, and you will eventually get an email that has your VATSIM ID and your password. Hold on to this, You'll, you will definitely need this in the future. Next, we want to go to SimBrief, make an account, register, create an account. This is where you create an account. After you've done that, you want to go to Sim Toolkit Pro. This is a great software that ha helps you uh, make your flight plans. This is what I use and it's, it's really amazing. So download this, Sim Toolkit Pro download and download it for Windows, Linux or Mac. Now, we also want to have a map to see where we're going to fly. I use this map, VAU.arrow. So for example, these are our center frequencies, so we can connect to these. So just let, just make a bookmark of this, this page. Okay, final thing that we need to download, and I'll be showing you how to download this because it's a little confusing. So, go to vatsim.let, .net and then pilots download required software after you're done here. VPilot, Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 and FSX and P3D. This is what uh, you would use for those three sims. Xpilot is for X-Plane only. This is what I use and it's the most used uh, VATSIM client for X-Plane. So basically what a client does is it connects you to the VATSIM network, it connects your sim to the VATSIM networks. This will show all the other aircraft around you and uh, make it so you can actually talk to the ATC through your aircraft. Swift. This is what you want to use if you're on Mac. Right. Let's go to Xpilot. Xpilot-project.org. Download 1.3.8. It's downloading here. Let that download. Open it up. Sorry for the black screen there. And now we are in the XPilot setup. Next, I agree. We want to make sure that the plugin is being installed and the client is being installed. That's where it installs. Select your X-Plane folder. This is where your xplane.exe is located. So in my case, browse, and there's my X-Plane folder on my desktop. You just have to select yours. Now we have to click install. This installs the software. But uh, there's a few more things that we have to set up. This is in your X-Plane and guided setup, xpilot guided setup. Yes, help me configure your xpilot, definitely do that. Do not click no. Download and install Bluebell CSL models. This may take a little while. Okay, now it's all installed and downloaded. Let's click next. Now, remember I said that the, that information will be important later on? Well, there we go. Oh, I can't select it. There we go. Okay, that's my ID. Copy and paste that. Password, copy and paste that. Name, enter name. Airport, Batsim server, and click next. Enter your microphone device. One's going to be my microphone. 
the output device, TTX Spatial Audio, and test your mic volume. Next. Now, we want to set a push to talk button. So whenever this button is pressed, that means you're going to be broadcasting on the frequency. So let's click set new push to talk button. There we go. On my side stick and click finish. Make sure that this button is not interfering with anything else. So this has to be by itself. Finish. There we go. Now the client loads up. That is all you need to do in this video today. In the next video, I'm going to be showing you how to create a flight plan. I will be using SimpleToolkit Pro for this, uh, this tutorial, the next tutorial. So make sure to stay tuned with that, for that. <laughs> See you guys.